Hi, this is Chris Shattuck with buildamodule.com, and in this video we're going to be talking about using MySQL in Drupal. If you were to split up Drupal into its two major components, the first would be the code, and the second would be the database. Whereas the code handles all of the logic for the site, the database handles the storage of content and settings for the site. Eventually, if you're building out new features or modifying existing Drupal features, you'll need to be able to interact with the database. I'm starting off this lesson assuming that you don't have a lot of experience with databases, so we're going to start at the very beginning and explain what a database actually is and how to interact with that with queries. And we're, so we're going to talk about queries a bit. We'll look at how Drupal handles database interactions and how that's different than the default PHP functions that you could use. We'll look at a few tools for browsing database content and tables. And then we'll write our first select query. So this is going to be your first query ever, potentially. And we'll keep it simple. But we'll move on to a more complex version. And then we'll bring in multiple tables together by using joins. If you don't know what that is, that's OK. We'll cover it then. We'll move on to using variables in queries, which is how we can make our queries more secure and robust. And finally, we'll look at how to insert, update, and delete data from databases using those queries. Okay, let's go ahead and start by looking at what a database is. Probably the simplest way to describe a database is as a collection of tables. The tables themselves are comprised of rows and columns, like a spreadsheet. So if you've used Excel or any other spreadsheet program, you're already most of the way into understanding how a table is structured. The columns represent the types of data that are going to be stored in the table whereas the rows represent individual entries into the table. Tables can relate to one another using keys. So one table can have a column that represents a user ID, and that user ID can be used on other columns to cross-reference or connect data from two different tables. The database contains content like nodes, users, comments, and settings like what modules are installed. So Basically, every piece of content that exists in Drupal exists inside of the database. There's a variety of different tools you can use to have a user interface for a database, but I'm going to go over to one of my favorites, which is SQL Pro, and show you kind of a representation of the Drupal database that's actually running this presentation. So on the left-hand side, we have the list of tables. Right now I have the node table selected, but you can see there's maybe 40 tables here. And on the right hand side, right now we're showing the structure of the table.